Hey guys, Weapon Gaming back, bringing another video for our Weapon Conversion Series, and today we're going to cover the SIG MCX MR, or the mid range, which is SIG Sauer's entry into the United States Army's CSAS, or the Compact Semi Automatic Sniper System Program. This was actually an unsuccessful entry, and we can replicate the, the rifle pretty well, and then we'll go ahead and see how it handles in game, whether or not it's a viable option or not. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So here we see my final model. I'm going to go ahead and strip this down to the, the base. MCX or the M13, so this is the MCX Virtus, so Sig Virtus. Um, we'll go ahead now, we'll start from the base, I'll get rid of the camo there. So now, first off, we're going to start with a monolithic suppressor. This is, like I said, this is a compact semi-automatic sniper rifle. So we're going to go ahead and put the monolithic suppressor on there because we're going to use this for a sound suppression and to get that damage at range. This is also consistent with a lot of the... Um, the builds that I've seen of this weapon that are that we can see out there. So we'll go ahead and slap a suppressor on it. Now for the barrel, we're gonna want the marksman barrel. So this is that 16 inch barrel that came with the MCX MR. And this is obviously pros are gonna be damage at range, bullet velocity, as well as recoil control. The cons being ADS speed and movement speed for this one, since it is the largest barrel we can get with the M13. Laser, we're gonna go ahead and skip out. Now for optics, this is a tricky one. Uh, and we'll talk more about that in game. I'm going to go with the variable zoom for this one because obviously this is for the CCS program compact semi automatic sniper system. We want a, a variable zoom or something of long range capability. However, I almost prefer it with a candid hybrid because this will give you that 3.25 zoom with a candid red dot slight on it to allow you to switch back and forth between those two and kind of help you be, make it more viable, I would say, in. in mid to close range engagements when needed but for this particular one to stay true with the actual irl build we'll go with the visible or sorry the variable zoom scope so this is obviously toggle zoom level for this particular scope versus a sniper scope which for this rifle i don't believe we get one no we don't so the variable zoom is the one we have actually i was wrong so we do have a sniper scope that go that will go to eight times but for this rifle and how it handles we don't need that we need the three to the 5.6 is fine now for the stock, we're going to go with the Forge Tax Stalker. So this is the heavy duty stock to keep our aim steady. Obviously, we're going to be trying to use this at mid to long range engagement. So we want that aim and stability offered by this. The con being the aim walking movement speed, which again, for this particular type of build, we're not going to need. So we'll go with the and go ahead and select that. Now we'll skip on the perk as well as the rear grip for the ammunition. We're going to go with the 300 blackout. So damage at range as well as no visible tracers, no enemy skulls. The cons being bullet velocity and recoil control with it since it is a heavier round. Now, in real life, the MCX MR was chambered in 7.62 by 51 NATO, but we don't have this in game. So similar with what we did with our SR25 build, where in that build we had to do the 458 SOCOM, we'll do the 300 Blackout, which is actually uh, similar in size. Not exact, but similar in size to a 7.62. So we'll go ahead and do that. And now for the underbarrel. We'll go ahead and we're going to do... Actually, we're going to skip the underbarrel, so we don't need that. That's our five attachments. You could throw a bipod on there, but um, the builds that I've seen didn't really utilize the bipod. And I think it's more necessary to keep the suppressor on there for to keep the build true to real life. So again, some some quick notes here. Perk, three-round burst, probably more effective. This will make it a, this will make it a two-burst kill. I played with this a lot. If you're going to use this, I highly, highly recommend using the burst option on this. Usually it's going to be a three burst kill, and again, that's kind of that's almost necessary if you're going to use this in a real game. I would get I would put that perk on for the three round burst and get rid of the suppressor, and then you have a more viable option. But to stay true with the rifle, we'll go ahead and use this build now for the camo. I'll show the real image on screen here after we cover this. I'm going to go with the Desert Snake just because of the color that the MCX MR came in in real life when it was going through the the CCS trial. This is the closest we get to that uh, that brownish finish that the weapon had in real life. That's the only kind of brown camo we get in-game also. So we'll go ahead and select that. And this is our final version of the MCX MR. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So we're going to be using this for medium to longer range engagements. And again, I would highly, highly recommend three-round burst. But for this particular video, we're not going to be using it. So... This is the MCX MR mid-range rifle out of the M13. Let's go ahead now and get in game and see how it handles with recoil and then see how it does in game 
against bots. Okay, now that we're in game with our MCX MR mid range, let's go ahead and check out the recoil patterns on this, being that we're going to be using it, as I said, a mid range for the CSS. So we'll be using it mid to long range, is where it'll be effective, mostly mid range. So let's first off, we're going to keep it on full auto, and we're just going to let this thing rip and see what the recoil looks like. I'm going to zoom in so we can get a better picture. So there you go, it's going, you can see that pattern there, it kicks high up and then almost 90 degrees to the right. So let's try and control it now. And this particular build, almost un uncontrollable. Um, I would recommend using this, I said, with the single fire and select fire, and then also three round burst would be much more efficient. So let's go ahead and try this. So you can see there, when we switch to single fire, it can be very accurate. Not even controlling that, you see, those are all, all these clusters right here, uh, right on target. So let's try it once more. I'll control this, hold my breath. So there we go. Those are all body shots, let's try once more. And you can see just the crazy amount of recoil when we put it in full auto. So, like I said, highly recommend using this in single fire, which is what we'll be doing mostly in the video here. And also, it's very effective with the three-round burst on there. So, I recommend that as well. So, let's go ahead now and we'll get in game and see how this handles in game against bots. Okay, now that we're in game with our SIG MCX MR, we're going to go ahead and see how this handles in game against bots. Also, I'm running a MP510 build here. So, I have a video on that also on the channel. I'm running this as a secondary since... Uh, the SIG MCX MR is not viable at really medium or, or close range. So ideally you don't want to use this one on full, fully automatic and tap firing it at single round burst is just not really viable either. So what I'm going to be doing mainly is keeping it on full auto but we're going to tap fire it. That way we don't have to waste the perk on the three round burst and we can just tap fire the weapon and still have a very effective build. So essentially if I just tap fire here it's going to be typically about two bursts depending on how many shots i get off and you can see that's pretty much the way you want to use this weapon i played with this a lot i played with it in multiplayer too and uh the three round burst is much better than trying it with single fire and being able to just have that fully automatic capability like we have here and just tap fire makes it probably uh, the best build you can get obviously you just want for this particular weapon you just want um for an in-game multiplayer, you probably want some different attachments to handle that recoil, and I would also recommend maybe a candid hybrid sight so you can utilize um, at closer mid medium ranges as well, closer ranges if you get stuck, like we are here with our MP510. So that's where we want a secondary like that as well for situations just like that, right? So really quick update on the giveaway. So $30 coupon giveaway or gift card giveaway for your platform of choice, PC, Xbox, or PlayStation. That'll be going on through tomorrow. So tomorrow I'm going to close it off and we're going to do the randomly select two winners and I'll be announcing that most likely at some point tomorrow or Wednesday if I cut it off tomorrow. So tomorrow, today and tomorrow will be your last time to comment on that so you can find details in the description below. It's just going to, you're going to have to be subscribed to the channel and you're going to need to comment on the HKG36 video, the CTAR21 video, as well as the LVOAC video that we did all the past week so you're gonna want to go ahead and check out that information in the description and all that's all you need to do to enter so all the details are down low for that so back to our sig mcx mr here so this as i said in the beginning of the video was an unsuccessful entry into the united states army's ccs program oh boy so that is the compact see if we can get these guys so you can see just burst firing right it's uh much better if i were to single fire it's not viable at all so um as i said the united states army ccs program was what this was entered into and that stands for as i'm getting lit up here compact semi-automatic sniper system so 
This was an unsuccessful entry by Sig Sauer. And in real life, this is chambered in the 7.62 by 51 NATO rounds, but obviously we don't have access to that, so we have to go for the 300 blackout. And I'll show pictures in before we get into the gameplay here in the video. I showed the comparison between that and a 7.62, so it's actually pretty comparable. Unfortunately, in game, it seems that the 300 blackout rounds don't really increase your damage overall. Mainly just at range, it'll help increase your damage. So that's kind of the downside to this, making it a tough build to really use. I don't know if this was an enemy here. So again, you can't get away with uh, fully auto. You can see at these close ranges that I just engaged in. That worked out pretty well. Copy. Jaguar 30 in route for personal radar coverage. So in real life, the SIG MCX MR was chambered in 7.62 by 51 NATO, as I said. Features flex fire capabilities, so you can go from, I believe, full auto to single to maybe even a burst. Also had the, it weighed a total of 8.9 pounds with a 406 millimeter barrel, a 16 inch barrel. And it actually was compatible, the lower was compatible with an SR-25, so compatible with the SR-25 low receivers for use of the SR-25 box magazine as well. So obviously those two sharing the same round of the 7.62x51 NATOs. So I believe this was beat out by the HK-417, which is the DMR variant of the HK-416. Also is in the same family of the M27 IAR, all by HK for that 416 build that they did. And that seems to be kind of what the military is going to. SIG, however, is in the running for the new program to replace the standard ARs, AR-15, um, M16 platforms. They're looking for a new caliber, that being 6.8 millimeter compared to the 5.56. So... That's something that SIG is actually heavily in the running with, along with a few other competitors, that we can cover that on the channel at some point as well in the future. And this is why we want a secondary <laughs> for situations like that, right? Because we would have never gotten away with that with that variable zoom scope, or just the, the slow ADS of this particular build that we have for the SIG MCX MR. So go ahead and comment down in the description or in the comments below what you like about this build. Do you like this build? Is this something you would use in game? Um, I also want to hear your custom builds that you want to see going forward. I think we're getting close to the end of actual conversions right now until we get to some more blueprints. So I'm probably going to be starting a new series soon. I'm going to be on vacation next week, so I'll have some content coming over that time that I'll have pre-recorded, and then I will probably dive heavily into a new series. But as more blueprints come out, the more conversions we'll be able to do. And so I have a few coming in the next couple of days for that. Also, we have some shotgun and some pistol conversions coming, but again, we're kind of limited with what we can do with those. There we go. So if you're not subscribed to the channel yet and you're liking the content, be sure to subscribe, like the video. It helps small channels like myself. And again, we're growing very fast, guys, so I, I thank you so much for all the support. We went from, you know, like 120-something when this game initially came out to uh, we're over, we're almost at 8,000 today. So I really appreciate the support. I really love interacting with you guys. If you're looking to get a hold of me and um, you have something that you want me to look at, Twitter or Instagram is probably the best place for that. I have those descriptions down in the – or I'm sorry, those links down in the description – as well as well as my Twitch page. You can check me out over there. It'll be live stream there sometimes. But I think mostly we're doing YouTube live streams for now. So, again, if you need to get a hold of me, those are the places to do it. All the information is down there in the description as well as the giveaway, which is be going on through tomorrow. And then we'll go ahead and cut that off, and I'll be announcing a winner this week for those two $30 gift cards. Oh, my God. <laughs> Got lit up. So as far as in-game viability, I think it's I think it's pretty viable if you're tap farming on full auto. Um, gives you a little bit. You don't have to worry about the burst delay, and again, you can kind of control the recoil better by tap firing it. I definitely would not recommend single fire. It seems to take five to six to even seven shots, depending on the range, to kill somebody, which is just not even. There's no no purpose whatsoever in using that. So. You can definitely make this work with the tap firing on full auto, so I recommend it that way. 
You can try three round burst as well. So let me know what you guys think of this build down below. This is the MCX MR, which was six hours unsuccessful entry into the CCS program. And we have our MP510 here as well, so you can check out that video on the channel also. But until next time, Buffner Gaming. Out. Text.